Hello. So today we're going to talk about global attributes. So global attributes apply to the entire file level. So here on the left hand part of the screen, you can see that we've already expanded this global file attributes. And then we've expanded this first option, which I've just called global to keep it nice and easy. And you can see we've got a couple of options here. This is different from per annotation attributes. So now I've minimized this and we see it says selection. And these are going to be different for every single annotation. So you can see here we've got this uh, example three and I can put this now it's example two. And if I click this, you can see that it's changing the number right here. So, th so this change that I'm making here is for just whatever one I've selected. So you see if I go back and I select this one, it goes here. And if I draw a new one, you see it's now empty, but if I select it and I can put my selection here. And those are going to be all different from the global file attributes, which is applied for this entire image. So to edit this and to create this effect where it says global, when we're creating our attributes, all we need to do is when we go to the scope, here we can select per file. So to achieve the effect that you have on this part of the screen here where it says global file attributes, during this selection you just say per file. Whereas if you want to achieve the effect where every time I click it, it's for that specific selection, then you can go in this other example here and you can click per annotation. Yeah, and then just, just to read this out loud for a moment because I think it helps explain it. So this is the default is per annotation. So for every annotation, box, etc., entity, it has different values. And the alternative is per file. So every image, video, text has only one set of those values. 